YouTube. You know who it is. Chris Jones. Represent for Zeke's of Greatness. And man, 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 it's been a while since I've recorded a training video. The reason why I waited so long is because I've been wanting to train with people. Because keep in mind, when I train with people, I have somebody that can hold the camera and give y'all good angles. Well, I'm tired of waiting, you know. I keep hitting people up. They keep making excuses. Or our schedules don't match. So I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to record this shit solo because it's been too long. Uh, speaking of training partners, I might be meet, meeting up with Kelly Burke tomorrow. So uh, if we do meet up, you'll be seeing a nice hardcore chest workout at the legendary Metro Flex Gym. Not the one I go to, the one Roddy Coleman and Branch Warren go to. So be looking out for that video if we make that happen. Right now I'm just watching Dorian Yates, man, coach this guy. He's training legs. See that right there? And uh, I love watching Dorian Yates, man, before I go work out legs or go work out back. It really pushes me, man. And fun fact for all you deadlift people, Dorian Yates didn't even do deadlifts. He did rack pulls just like me. You know what I mean? And he had one of the best backs of all time. I'm not knocking deadlifts or anything, but to say you have to deadlift to have a great back, that's completely false. You know, I have never done deadlifts. And I still pull five plates, you know what I mean? But anyway, let me show y'all what I'm uh, taking to um, get ready for this workout. Let's go to the kitchen. All I'm using right now, I'm using this fat burner, this Yohimbe, Yohimbe plant. I hope I pronounced that right. And a fat burner by ProSups. I ran out of drop factor. Maybe Mark will send me some more. Maybe he won't. It depends if I keep dieting or not. Right now I'm at 185, and I think I'm going to stay at 185 for a while. But this is what I got right here. This uh, Pro Subs Fat Burner, and I got this Yohan Bay Plant. Right now I'm going to show you me using it, just so you know I ain't bullshitting. See? And my Yohan Bay Plant. And then, I just take some water. That's it. Ah, that's all I'm taking right there. And then, I'm going to have me some... Uh, Whey protein with a little coffee. Alright, and as you see. Ah, and that's how I get ready for the gym. People keep asking me that. That's all I do. Take my little, uh, pop my little mollies, take my protein, and I'm good. Don't forget, 5% link in the description if you happen to give a fuck. And let's go to the gym. Alright homies and homets, so after I do my leg extensions to get warmed up and pumped up, I go to the squat rack and do me a few warm up sets. Like I always say, do not take warm up sets anywhere near failure. My purpose of warm up sets is to pretty much gradually increase the weight to my working weight, you know what I mean? Just to get my mind right, make sure my form is right, you know what I mean? As you see, it's time to wrap up the knees. Take my advice, especially if you got small fucking joints. Wrap your knees when you go heavy. I guarantee you, it will save you a lot of pain and heartache in the future. You know what I mean? Every now and then, I start getting pains in my knees. And I know for a fact that has to be from those years of heavy leg pressing and heavy squatting without my wraps, man. As you see, I'm doing six sets of squats. I decided to go ahead and mix it up today. Today I did like 315 for two sets of 12. Then I did 365 for about two sets of eight to 10, you know what I mean? Let me look at the form real quick. Form, I could have went a little deeper on this set, but I thought I was going pretty fucking deep. You know, it felt deep, but after looking at the tape, I could have went a little deeper. But on this 405 right here, I went pretty fucking deep, you know what I mean? I really hate that shit. Hey, I hate getting home thinking I had a damn good workout, and then I look at the footage and I realize I could have went a little deeper on my leg press. I could have went a little deeper on my squats. I hate that feeling. But as you see, four or five, I went pretty fucking deep, you know what I'm saying? I got five reps this day. Strength is slowly but surely coming back, you know what I mean? Ever since I increased my calories, Strength is coming back the way it used to be when I was two fucking 15, you know what I mean? 
decided to go ahead and do some super squats. I ain't super squatted in a while, you know what I mean? As you see, I still go deep on the super squat. I see a lot of people, they'll half rep that bitch. I try to go deep on all leg exercises. I think it's real important to practice good habits, you know what I mean? And as you see here, I decided to go ahead and change it up. Usually I do lunges, man, but this exercise right here replaces lunges. It's real good for the ham, quad, glute tie-in. You have to have a low body fat percentage to see that, but this is really good for that separation right here. And then the last quad exercise of the day, decided to go ahead and do some leg presses. As you see, I keep my feet pretty close. And that's to bring out the outer quad sweep. If you've been watching the channel a while, you know for a fact that my outer quad sweep has came up. And I have to say it's due to this exercise right here. Really keeping my feet close and going deep. Do not be one of those guys who do knee lock outs with the leg press. Bring that bitch deep. I'm telling you, leg press is just as good as any other exercise if you, if you bring it deep. All right? Then I decided to go ahead and throw in some hams and glue work. Go ahead and hit the stiff legs. As you see, I'm doing 315. And people tell me all the time they really don't feel the stretch in their hams. You have to make love to the negative. If you want to feel this shit in your hams, don't be dropping it down and crashing it down all fast. Really make sweet love to the negative. Come down nice and slow and controlled. Then I decided to go ahead and do some oscillation work for my hams. Four sets of ten on a seated ham curl. You know what I mean? And this is the last exercise of the day, guys. Just some lion ham curls. Pretty good workout right here. Very intense, very quick, very simple. Man, just got done training. Look how I ran it to today. Mr. Lightweight himself. <laughs> Get ready for that show. Yes, sir. Like I said, guys, man, I might be working out with him tomorrow. Hope if he come through, you already know we're gonna have a chest workout, and we're gonna try to record it. Metroflex. Be looking out for that shit, man. Yes, sir. It's going down. Stay tuned. It's gonna get nasty and dirty, literally. Let me see that. Let me see that hat, man. Oh yeah. You still the hats too? Yeah, I got the hats too. I think you want these hats. Yeah, man. The hooky boy up, man. I got you. And like I said, man, he sell them badass shirts. The hoodies, all that shit. Yes, Subscribe sir. to my homie. Check out his clothes. But anyway, it's time to go eat. Yeah, man, I'm about to have this little post-workout snack. You know what I'm saying? A couple of chips ahoy, snack packs. Scoop of MTS Whey with creatine in this bitch. Man, I was actually gonna go home and cook today, man, but shit, man, them stiff legs wore me the fuck out. I just need to go home and take a quick nap, man. I gotta take a quick nap and then go handle me some business. So, probably gonna stop by Panda Express, man. Yeah, let's see what's up. Yo, y'all still got that? Y'all got brown? I already got brown rice now. Yeah. Let me get to go brown rice. Yeah. All right, homies and homets. I'm outside, Panda Express, in the little dining area. I don't know if you can see it. And uh, I'm about to show you what I got to eat. All right, here we go. Woo, shit smells good as fuck. I don't know if y'all can see that steam. That steam coming all out this bitch. All right, I got two servings of brown rice. All right. I got some new teriyaki chicken. And I got some broccoli beef. Healthy, grade A, bodybuilding meal. And of course, they gave your boy a fortune cookie. I want this bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm about to dig in on this shit, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the little workout video. Like I said, I'm gonna try to go ahead and meet up with Kelly tomorrow and give y'all a chance chest workout in Metro Flex. And I just made some changes to my split and routines. I'll be doing a video on that real soon if you happen to give a fuck. Well, anyway, I'm about to dig in, guys. Enough talking, enough talking. Before I go, you gotta do me one favor. Don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe. Holler back at you. Chris Jones. Chris Jones.